Shang Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings is a 2021 American superhero film based on Marvel Comics featuring the character Shang Chi. When it comes to Marvel Studios, we all know the VFX had to be amazing, of course. Rodeo FX, Scanline, Trickster, Rising Sun Pictures, Digital Domain, Weta Digital, Fin Design, Numa Pictures, and Method Studios were responsible for the production of over 2,000 VFX shots but 1,761 of them made the final cut of a movie that broke records in 2021. Story is key with Marvel, and the main expectation, aside to providing amazing quality VFX, was to be able to visually tell the story they wanted to tell. They also had to make a lot of fantastical stuff, like dragons, demons and magical weapons, look realistic and believable. They did a lot of early animation tests, which showed that the demons had to be able to steal souls. They ended up putting forward a rather aggressive and brutal solution, unsure if it would get approved, with the tentacles going down the throat to steal the souls, however, Marvel dug it, and they scaled it up from there. Weta Digital focused on the third act battle, and worked on 305 shots, which starts when Shang Chi gets punched into the water at Tan Lo Lake. They worked on the Great Protector and the Dweller in Darkness. The design of the Great Protector was based very closely on Marvel's original concept work. Marvel wanted her to feel natural and beautiful, while also being strong and majestic. The 8,000 scales that made up the dragon were individually placed, and they shaded her scales with a translucent quality to bring her to life. For her animation, they looked at sea snakes and iguanas swimming through the water, as well as traditional ribbon dancing and rhythmic gymnastics for the dragon's posing and shape. The Dweller in Darkness is a massive 250 meters long dragon, with no eyes, and a mouth full of teeth. The internal veins would shine through translucent parts of the body, revealing its skeleton and muscles. It was designed to be very aggressive, with spikes and tentacles, and skin that was plated, but also had a leathery feel. It was built with a full skeletal, muscular and vascular system, which they used to show it powering up. Marvel approached Digital Domain's visual effects team, led by VFX supervisor Hansi Tang, to create the opening scene for Shang-Chi and The Legend of the Ten Rings. The scene follows a helicopter flying through a lush landscape to eventually reveal Wenwu's fortress, all digitally created by Digital Domain artists. Digital Domain also provided visual effects for the action-packed compound escape sequence, which required its artists to use practical and digital effects as Shang Chi and his allies race and fight their way out of a parking garage. We are a relatively new channel, and if you're still watching by now, then you likely enjoy our content, smash the subscribe button and ring the bell. Thanks for your support. To bring the chase to life, their team created CG vehicles and replaced stunt actors with digidables. A team of 115 digital domain artists delivered almost 275 shots for the film. For the full Tarlo environment, Rising Sun Pictures created the central part of the village. They also generated atmospherics and reflection passes that they could use to dial in, in composition. This was where a large part of the movie transpired, and the digital jungle that would serve as a backdrop for the later parts of the film. The Tarlo environment is approximately 75 square kilometers of jungle, mountains, lakes, and rice paddies, whose look was based on Southeast Asia.
RSP started by laying out a physical structure, based on research they did on forested areas of Vietnam and East Indonesia, and then built up a library of trees and flora based on their research, which included many different varieties of bamboo. Rodeo FX was planning to travel to Macau to shoot background plates and reference plates and get HDRs, scans, and photogrammetry, but then the pandemic hit. Travel was restricted, and the viable option left to them was to create a fully CG Macau. They extracted a rough geometry of every building in Macau using Google Maps, OpenStreetMap data, and photogrammetry tools. For the bamboo scaffold fight scene, the team created a rough mock-up of the scene and tagged every shot to its location on the building. This enabled them to determine which window the characters would emerge from at the start of the scene, over how many stories the action took place, and which windows would be damaged. The size of the VFX team was over 1,000 visual artists and took around 18 months to complete the project. We also need your support to hit 100k subscribers for us to continue making great content for you. Also, like and share to as many as you can. Thanks for watching. Let us know in the comments down below which movie visual effects breakdown you'd like to see next. Don't miss our content every week. Click subscribe, ring the bell, and see you in the next one.